Hey everybody, you have found Mr. Beetle Pro's channel. If you weren't looking for it, sorry, you found it anyway. If you were looking for it, you're in the right place. Welcome back. Uh, last video, we started magazines. So, this is part two of the journey through my magazine collection. So, I think we'll start with Mr. Lennon. This is Us Magazine from 1981. The Lander Sisters. Anybody remembers them? Got a bunch of tribute magazines from after he was killed. You know, these are like December 1980. There was quite a few of these out. Um, back at the in the day, you know. So my Lennon stuff is like scattered all over. This is an acoustic magazine from I don't know when. Guitar World Acoustic. And he's up there in the corner. How to play like John Lennon? If I could play like John Lennon, I wouldn't have to work for a living. Here's another Guitar World magazine. The Second Coming of John Lennon. Who was this one? February 1999. Here's another tribute magazine from 1980. So is this one from Teen Bag Magazine. I never did like that picture. I think this one came out in the winter of 1988. About the time this movie was coming out. This magazine uh it says winter of 80, but it's a reprint, and they changed the top in this, but this was an actual Beatles magazine. They just changed it, obviously, to make a couple of bucks, to make it a John Lennon Memorial magazine. This Life magazine is from 2013. Here's a Newsweek. I want to say 1988. I think that was about the time the Imagine movie was coming out. This Rolling Stone is from 2010. This one's a fairly new one. I want to say 2012. Not as new as I thought it was. And there's the back. If you want to read any of it, just go ahead and hit pause. Oh, 25 years after. 2005. This one's from 2005. This is a Playboy interview from January of 81. He did the interview and it came out. And look, it's Ringo's wife on the cover, Barbara Bach. And then part two of that interview came out in April of 1981. There it is right there. And then there's some garbage ones, People Magazine, about the Albert Goldman book from 88. This is part two of that same magazine the next week. I 
This one is from 1990. Ten years after he was killed. It's a memorial magazine from 1980, early 81. Another one from early 81. This one's from Us Magazine. And for the people that know Michael Landon, hey, he's doing a Kodak camera commercial. This is a magazine from 1984. I think this came out about the time of Milk and Honey. There's a Song Hits magazine from 1982. This is this is one of the better tribute magazines that came out. I always like this one. That one came out right after, like 80, 81. This one's from 88. This runs from 1982. Hey, you could buy a Datsun for 4949 in 1982. So people from 1981, January of 81, a year later. This was Peoples from December of 80. This one's from 1987, but I'm going to cover the idiot's picture so you don't. It's another one of those stupid magazines. This one's from 1990. As Yoko and Sean up on the top there. This is a Women's World magazine from 1989. And then on the back side I have one from 1990 that has Linda in it. have this uncut magazine from 2002 and I know I have more Lennons I'm just not sure where they're at they're probably in the other box so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out this is McCartney from 1984 him and Linda Here's another McCall's Magazine from 1988. Vegetarian Times from 1990. Here's another Vegetarian Times from 1995. Here's a Us Magazine from 1990. <laughs> Star Magazine from 2006. This was a cable guide from 1993, from when Off the Ground was out. Guitar Player Magazine from 1990. 
New World Journal from 1993. Came out during the New World Tour. It's a Family Circle magazine. I think this one came out in 1999 after Linda died. Here's a musician magazine from 1988. This magazine is from May of 1998 after Linda passed away. Wait, there's more. People Magazine from 1998. There's another one from 2000. With the gold digger. This was McCartney's interview in Playboy magazine from 1980. This was released in 84. The interview was in 83 when Tug of War was out. Interview Paul and Linda McCartney's whole story. And Suzanne Summers is in it. Believe it or not, in 1985, he was on the cover of Playgirl magazine. Rhino Records, 1998, advertising for Flaming Pie. And on the back, there's a few McCartney things in the World Tonight video. Corgi Toy. Here's a Rock magazine from 1985. Ooh, look, it's Boy George. And we move up to 2006. I know why he left, because she was a bitch. <laughs> Here's a fairly new one, the 2012 Rolling Stone. Here's another newer one from 2013. I think there was two different covers for this one. From 2014. There's the back side. Um, oh, 2003. Gee, Heather's pregnant. Carney gets back. This is from 1976. And the Wings Over America tour. CD review from 1990. He was on a lot of magazines back in 89-90. Fame magazine from 1990. I think this one had two covers also in 2012. And for all you geriatric people like me, he actually made the cover of AARP when he was 64. Not a very flattering picture, is it? There's an old Beatle fan magazine from 98. This is from 2007. There's an old Grooves magazine from sometime in the set January of something, 76, 77.
Grammy magazine from April of 90. June 2002, Paul Mary's Yahoo. Sorry, I didn't like her very much. Paul McCartney, the richest man in showbiz, November 1983. And then last but not least in this box, June. My birthday, as a matter of fact. People Magazine, 1976. This is about the time Wings at the Speed of Sound was released. Well, that's going to be it for part two. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit all that good stuff. It's all good. Till next time, y'all take care. Thanks.